This is Uncle Roger, and there's only one thing he hates more than Jamie Oliver's cooking. No! <laughs> and that is my fried rice. Fucked up again. Looks so clumpy. Uh, yeah. yeah, rice not very good. And ever since that day, I've been trying to up my fried rice game. If you guys haven't noticed, it's the only dish I cook for every cooking challenge on this channel. So here we are one year later. Let's see if I can finally impress the world's toughest food critic. Mm. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Uncle Roger, I came for oh. vengeance today. Oh boy. Because one year ago, I made you nasi goreng. Which you said, you described it as, it tastes like a teenager's sock. Yeah. Wet sock. Mmm. Today, I chose to make Uncle Roger nasi goreng. Fried rice of Indonesia. This one is special because you actually reacted to this nephew before. Ah, Ryan Ponomo. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm gonna chop up some garlic. I took notes from what I did wrong last time. Last time you hung over. So last time when Uncle Roger came over, I was Went out drinking the night before. I got really hungover. Didn't really know my recipe. I just winged it. Yeah, I need Gatorade before I start, bro. Hungover. hungover, bro. I was pretty disappointed in myself being the head chef. I feel like I really let the boys down. <laughs> Uncle Roger's favorite, bro. He's only one practicing. Seasoning is a little off. Yeah, that chicken has no flavor, bro. This is why you practice. If you don't practice, how am I gonna know? Thank you, dude. Not good. It's a seven dollar food court. I gotta go in and change the recipe a little bit. Alright. I think I'll be okay. Look at him, he's him, bro. I expect to see this tomorrow, dude. You're working this hard, dude. The boys are just lazy around sleeping. Alright. Yeah, another guy chilling, and you got this hard working man practicing all day. Hey, anyway, Charlie, what do you think of it? It's fried rice? Yeah. Let's try. We do the onion. You didn't, why didn't you use a shallot? We have shallot. I know, but I wanna keep it authentic to the recipe, you know? The onion for poor people. Hmm. Oh crying? my god, I'm crying. I'm actually crying. Uncle Roger should be the one crying. Yeah. yeah. At least I'm gonna score above Jamie Oliver and Sheldon. The goal is Sheldon? Edward got a very high score, so. So you eat fire rice, you want to eat onion this size? Two Thai chilies. You're gonna put it in the same bowl? Yeah, I'm gonna put it in the same bowl. <laughs> this guy thinks all ingredients take the same time to cook. No, I'm gonna stick to the recipe like a tea. I'm not gonna get deviated. Uncle Roger, pretty sure nephew Reno didn't put everything in the same bowl. Hmm. I watched the video eight times. Now this cutting board, done, gone. We're not using it anymore. We need to cut our chicken, which are thighs. How many pieces did he use? Just one piece enough. Just one, one piece, piece. One enough. piece enough. Serious. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not a good sound. And then after this, we're basically ready to start. Wow, fast. You respect Uncle Roger's time. Making sure everything is clean, food safety is my number one priority for you, Uncle Roger. After eating that pad thai. Uncle Roger, what do you think about this recipe so far? Um, Uncle Roger, not a fan of onion. Not a fan of onion? He told you that. And also, why he not chopping spring onion before he cooking? Oh. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to do. Haha. <laughs> I forgot the garnish. You should pan fry the spring onion first. Who pan fries spring onion? That's Uncle Roger's favorite thing. No, that Jamie Oliver shit. Mmm, nice chopping. See? It's it's a caterpillar. It's called the caterpillar effect. <laughs> he threw it in the garbage bin as well. Finally. Uncle Roger, come. Let me show you, okay? There's three different layers of rice. Last night, I made my dish twice. This morning, I made my dish another time. And I basically have made six batches of rice. This is version one. I had one in here. I had one out there somewhere. So three versions, see this? So this is version one. Came out too clumpy. Too much water, right? Correct, Stick. correct. What did nephew Mike do? Went back to the store and bought another bag of rice. Did it again. Still a little mm, too clumpy, even right? Worse. Exactly. See this? This cannot. I cannot serve you this. This is probably one of the challenges that I put the most effort in. And then it's our last piece of rice. This is what we're talking about. Ah. A little less sticky. Yeah. Something a little to work with. Dry. You can see that. You can see the grains. Yeah. What the difference? difference? Water. Water level. Water level. Yeah. You can just buy rice from Chinese takeout. And then put it in the fridge. You ever think about that? Whoa. That's true. But that is also called cheating. You don't learn anything from that experience, right? I mean, it seems like you haven't learned anything anyway. <laughs> okay, let's see what you got. Yes, okay, we're gonna season with a little bit of uh, salt. Uncle Roger prefer white pepper for egg fried rice. Never mind, white pepper it is. Oh, he has We have that? white pepper too. Yeah, let's put some white pepper in because Uncle Roger really likes white pepper. There we go. And of course, no olive oil, vegetable oil only. Oil, good, good. I want to make sure rice is ready. I get my seasoning ready. I get this ready. And now the magic begins. Uh, new skills that I've learned essentially is the importance of the temperature of the wok. 
Oh, oh, tossing, tossing. Fuyo. The effort and the practice and the amount of walk flips don't lie. Okay. So, as soon as it goes in, it should be mixed with some sambal oh. sauce for the flavor. Sambal, Fuyo. My nephew shouted, right, you don't use this? Huh? You can use this for your pad thai? Then you don't need to fry your own shrimp paste? Now we're yeah. here. Not only am I going to be making him a delicious meal, also going to be a performance of a life. And then we're going to do like last time, one egg in, one egg on top. Oh! Wait, you think the onion done cooking already? Not yet, but I can stir the egg in the side. That Promising. is. Promising. Promising. Good stuff. Mmm. Egg cook good. Nice. Now you toss wow. because now the boy gets sucked up already. Yeah. And then after that, we put in the rice. A little bit, not too much. Mmm. Break down this rice. Whoa. One secret ingredient about all of this. First part is we need the sweet soy sauce. Hmm? Whoa. Oh, whoa. Nice. Learn from the mistakes last time. Yeah. And then after that, we want to add, season it with a little bit more salt. And of course, of course, some MSG in here as well. Good, good. When you season stuff, you have to taste it also. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. I don't want to use the same spoon though, I'll use this one. <laughs> Look at this thing and then mix it in. Taste it a little bit. Mmm! Oh, what are you eating so far? It's okay? Smell good, smell good. A little more black pepper, a little more sambal taste. Where's random ingredient adding? Feeling, from? feeling! It's feeling, it's all feeling, it's all feeling. Then we're gonna get it. Oh! oh! That's a dangerous hazard! Oh, just don't worry, yeah. just worry. we sort it later. Okay. Nothing is gonna stop me right now, I'm too concentrated. You think it's good? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Wait, wait, not yet, not yet, not yet. This is not done yet. Promising. Look good. Whoa. Nephew Shelton definitely losing. I think this is gonna be better than two out of ten. You know what this? I think I'll be okay. You're not practicing your dish. I'm practicing my British accent right now. Oh, yeah. And then, of course, the most important thing is the egg. Ah. This oil. You put this, and like Uncle Roger said, you need plenty of oil to make egg. The reason Ooh. why is the top doesn't get fried. Right? You deep frying look. egg? That, that may be a bit too much. <laughs> Camera, look. <laughs> like a whole cup of oil in there. You could deep fry the egg or something. Put it in. Oh, so much oil. Too oily. Too oily. No, don't touch it yet. Let it, let it cook. Let it cook. Yeah, so If you touch it now, it's gonna stick to bottom. Let it cook a bit first. Oh, but oh, I do this. Good. It looks good. Oh, you took okay. advice from last time? I remember, you said you use spoon, scoop up some hot oil and put on oh, the Oh, shoot, shoot. Okay, keep it like this. Still a big waste of oil, but it looks good. But usually we don't put oil on the, the, the egg yolk. We let the egg yolk still look like egg Oh, egg okay, color. okay. Oh, it's crusting around the side. Is it? Is it crusting? Yeah, I think it's okay. Bring it out. Oh, oh. Yeah, let's try it. And nice, then nice. I'm gonna put a little more spring onion on top. Just Raw to... spring onion. Mmm. Oops. <laughs> and then we got fried shallots. Fried shallots should have gone in walk a little bit also. So it get warm temperature. Oh now really? Oh yeah, too late now, too late. And then after that, the final thing. Four is a bad number in Chinese, so we're gonna go for five. Yes, of course, we're gonna add chili sauce. On the side is if you if you want to eat it with chili sauce, you can. You guys really trying to sell this sauce? Yeah, yeah. Actually, my mom's chili is fully sold out thanks to you guys. But if you missed your chance, you can sign up for the reservation list and we'll save you a bottle when it's back in stock. Thanks! So needs a nephew, go support them. A little bit of chili sauce on the side. And there we go. Nasi okay, goreng. good. Wow. You know that Michelin star like... Oh. Little like abstract lines. Mm. Yeah. Uncle okay. Roger feel like at restaurant Gordon Rams. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Alright, and we're done. That's sarcasm. Sarcasm. Okay, okay. okay. Ah. Sarcasm. Oh. I thought that was real. Okay, and we're done. I know Uncle Roger has had food from many, many top chefs before. So if I can impress him today, I'd be really, really happy. Let's get it. Alright, Uncle Roger, the moment of truth. 365 <laughs> days training with many chefs. And I felt really embarrassed that you came all the way to Toronto last time and I was not only underprepared, but the dish tasted like wet teenager sock. Let's see. No, I'm just saying like, if you don't practice and put in the effort, you're not gonna reap the return. Eat it with the egg. 
it not perfect. I'm gonna be the only one that impresses him this time because I'm the only one that takes it seriously. But do you know who takes making websites seriously? Yep, it's our sponsor, Squarespace Time. You guys are already familiar with them. They support our channel a lot and made this trip to go see Uncle Roger possible. But they also make creating a beautiful website possible. For example, let's say you wanted to make a website for your own product, like how I made one for our product, my mom's chili. It's simple. You start by picking your template, adding some graphics, your products, and there you have it. Your own beautiful website for your amazing product. It's that easy. So now that you've got your online story, you need a way to communicate with your audience for important news and events. That's why I've been using Squarespace's email campaigns feature. You can introduce your brand to new subscribers with welcome emails and updates, and also keep track of all the analytics on the back end. And now to really build that community, you can even use Squarespace to engage with your audience. Just set up a blog page where you can chat with your amazing fans and keep them up to date on everything new. Now you guys might be skeptical of this, I get it. So thankfully, I was able to get you guys, the Yihei gang, a free trial to Squarespace for two full weeks. That way you can try it out risk-free. Not only that, but you also save 10% off your subscription if you choose to continue using Squarespace after your trial. So go sell that product of yours and make your website with Squarespace. Just use our link in the description box below to get started on your free trial. All right, now let's get back to seeing if Uncle Roger will enjoy Mike's dish. In there. Mm. Chili sauce definitely help. Yeah. Mm. Mm. What my word do? I think just because prepare three different types of rice I see the dedication and preparation. So Uncle Roger impressed by this. Yes! Yes! Look at Uncle Roger impressed! And what would you give it to Shadow Ooh. Seven. Oh! Seven out of ten. So nephew okay. Edward still wins. Edward nephew still wins. Oh. Better than Shelton. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. We're gonna come back for the eight, okay? Because seven is not an Asian pass. Next year, next year. All right, guys, if you guys enjoy watching today's video, make sure to click here to watch Sheldon attempt to impress Uncle Roger and click here for a video that YouTube thinks you'll love. Peace. I got it. No, no, don't film me. This is not appropriate. This is not appropriate. <laughs>